Binary search. What is binary search? Binary search is an algorithm used to find an element in a sorted list. How does it work? Binary search finds the midpoint of the list, and if that midpoint is equal to the item that we're looking for, then we return that index. If not, then we look at either the upper bound or the lower bound of the list, and then continue to search in this manner. So, to implement binary search in C sharp, here we have our binary search function, and we're passing in a sorted list, an array of doubles that uh, I created, and we're searching for the number 27, which will be at index 4 of the array. Here we have our binary search algorithm. We're passing through our sorted list and the element that we're searching for. We initialize our left bound or the beginning index of the array, which is zero, and our upper bound or the uh, right index of the array, which is the length of the array minus one. And to find the midpoint, we simply take the left bound plus the right bound and divide it by two. So in this function we're taking an iterative approach to find the index. As long as the right bound is greater than or equal to the left bound then we continue to iterate till we reach that point and then we return negative one if we do not find the element that we are looking for. Here you see the midpoint algorithm again, left plus right over 2. We will change this algorithm slightly to prevent integer overflow. Here are the steps to change the algorithm. Essentially we are adding a left over 2 and minus left over 2, which negate each other. And then we simplify it down to left plus right minus left over 2, and since we're not adding the left and the right together, we won't have an integer overflow. And so here is our actual implementation where we set the mid equal to the left plus the right minus the left divided by two. Then we use that as our index in the array, and then we get our element. And then the element we found, we check if it is greater than the element that we are searching for. And so when the element that we found is greater than the element that we're searching for, then our right bound becomes the mid element minus one. This is because now we don't need to look at the upper bound of the list because the element we found is greater than the element that we were searching for and we don't need to look at that element again so we subtract one and if it's the inverse if the element we found is less than the element we're searching for then we don't need to look at the lower bound of the list so we set the left bound to the midpoint plus one because we don't need to look at the midpoint again and so then we don't need to look at the lower bound Otherwise, if we found the exact element, then we just return the index of that element. And we continue to loop through until we find the index for the element. So let's run it and see our result. As you can see, it returns 4. And 27 is the fourth index of the array. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4.